What's the world? Randy Taz 50 back with another banger. This is going to be a quick review on my brand new Crimson Trace. He messing up. Crimson Trace. <laughs> C R I M S O N. Second word, Trace. Crimson Trace. C T S 25 Red Dot. I literally just put it on here a couple days ago. Uh, it was pretty cheap, probably like 60 bucks. Uh, only because this rifle is a rifle that's kind of like in the back of my safe it's not one that i'm gonna really go to but i want to have it ready just in case so that's why i just put this cheap sling on it that i just bought uh red dot decent magazine my nice rubberized grip uh so i like it so this is that bushmaster carbon 15 that uh i did a video about in reference to the failure so this will be the literally the first i think the first or second time probably the first i've shot it since that problem so it's been years since I shot this gun, looks a little bit different. I painted it a couple of times, uh, and so now it's green. You can see a little bit of gold, a hell of a bit of gold going on before. So I don't know, I was playing with it, but we're gonna test it out. I meant to bring the box to the red dot, but I forgot I was rushing out the house because this is an impromptu range trip. I didn't really plan on shooting today, but I wanted to get it done because I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. Um, we'll take a quick little look at it. One of the things you notice when you look at the top of the turret, you see that there aren't any like arrows to tell you which way to turn for up or down. That's one of the drawbacks. It doesn't have it, but doesn't have it. But it's not that big of a deal because you can just turn it and see it moves. Just figure it out that way. Uh, there are some forms that tell you if it's counterclockwise or clockwise. At this moment, I can't remember. Obviously, on the same side for left to right, it's not um, marked. Right here is the uh, brightness and lower the brightness buttons. You obviously, you hold the button to cut it on. Uh, the battery part over here. It came with the the riser for it to get on this Picatinny rail. So it's fantastic. Let me try to cut on, see if we can see it. There's nothing in the magazine yet. Let's see if I can um, have you all see the actual red dot. Okay, it is a bright day and I can still see clear as day on it or through it. Uh, this may not work. There you go. There it is. So you can see it's a really bright day like 70 something degrees today but it feels fantastic so that's why i came out too because it wasn't too hot so you can see the light what i did was use my bore cider at the um uh use my bore cider to kind of zero it in so we'll see literally this will be the first shots with it on it there was no other zeroing out here no other changing anything up so it's gonna go however it goes um i banged it around a little bit let's see I just thought to drop my rifle in the ground. It's a little bit moist. It's a little wet. It's still there. Light still on. So we'll see how she works. I'm excited but kind of nervous. I'll be honest with you, especially when buying cheaper things, but normal uh, 223 ball ammo, 55 grain in the PMAG. And let's see how she does. See how she does. It's been a long morning. I'm sorry. Look at my muscles flexing. All right. Let's see how she does. She's holding, but uh, I guess my zeroing with the bore sight was terrible because I missed. <laughs> but it's fine because I'll work with that later. <sighs> but that thing is, does it hold a zero? I don't know. I'm going to have to go fix the, the target. But it's still on. The, the rifle still works, so that's a, that's a plus. But uh, yes, it's still on. I'm going to try to play around a little bit, try to get it, see if I can light it up or anything. Uh, there she is. So yes, she still works. I need to get the, I guess, properly zeroed in. But uh, so far, it was all right. Let's see. All right. So I did some zeroing. I've been shooting a little bit, and look what I went back out. The Pro Mag 65 round drum. I think I've had it loaded for like 43 something all the time since the last video, or whatever. 38. Whatever I shot, I never filled it back more. So just what I had it. And look at it. it looks actually looks pretty good. She's loaded. I'm gonna be careful. Probably safety folks look wow so let's uh keep on shooting this crimson trace uh i've been trying to zero it in i think i got it on target now so 
We'll see how this goes. Looks good. What I'm gonna do is probably download that drum and get it right at 40 when I get home. Bolt didn't lock back, but give me one second. All right, so remember when I mentioned that in different forms you could find if it's counterclockwise or clockwise for up or not, and that it's not labeled. So what I found out is that clockwise is up. And that's why I was getting mixed up. I'm like, okay, what is what's going on? I'm going higher instead of lower because I read wrong or somebody posted wrong. So what I found out, if you went up, go clockwise. Um, I'm honestly, I got a little bit confused what I was doing with the left and right, but clockwise um, was up. So clockwise was put it up. Let's try again. Try this bad boy out. I gotta remember how I, we had to load the last time. Also, I don't know if you can see on my hip. I've got my, uh, I've got my, uh, my Glock here with the 33 round magazine. Now I don't walk around with 33 round mags, but I can see the little tape on it with the writing. I needed to test it out. I bought it from a pawn shop and it's working. I mean, you know, might as well, right? All right, let's see. One handed at whatever amount of yeah, my elbow's been killing me. That was a good shot. It wasn't really. I just wanted to make it seem like it was. All right, let's put this drum back in here. And why is she snagging like that? Ah, I had to press the button. Hmm. Never had that problem with other ones. Alrighty. Hopefully I was in good my frame. I don't know. Hopefully so though. The rifle, I guess I forgot that the bolt doesn't lock back um, after the last shot. Interesting, but drum's holding up. Looks like the red dot's holding zero. Um, I don't see any fuzziness to it from shooting it. I'm going to drop it again. Oh. Well, that was a disaster. That was probably not smart to do. I done broke my rifle. Whoa. Well, I'm glad that happened out here. I'm not when I was like doing some kind of training or something in like real life. That's crazy. Well, there goes a little polymer rifle. It's broken. Dang. So I don't know what I'm gonna do now since <laughs> I busted my, uh, I don't know I can put that back on there. I'm gonna work on that, but the red dot is working. The rifle was working before this happened, but um, Crimson Trace, I think I'll use it. I guess I have to come back again with a different rifle if I can't get this fixed. No, I can fix it. Look, I can take it off. Wow. Okay, so it's like a Picatinny and it's removable. I didn't know that. I just learned that. Wow. So, yes, I think this is a, is a success for now. At least for $60, this is a success. And um, we'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. I might have to insert right after this part um, uh, the box so you all can see the contents and what the box looks like. A little bit further looks like. What the... Ooh, long morning. I know you saw it in front end, but at least go through the details of it. All right, we're in the Savage. Take a look. Okay, I'm back. I, I, I couldn't leave y'all with a failure, okay? So I was able to get her back on there. And we're going to try again. A couple more shots. I'm not going to drop it this time, but a couple more shots with the drum. See how she holds up. <laughs> I wouldn't want to keep going. All right, she's loaded. Red dot's on, Picatinny rail is back mounted on the weapon correctly. And um, let's hit two shots, let's see. One way around, two, the red dot stopped working. 
So I am glad that we did this. Huh. I'm not sure the battery cover is on well. It's uh, clear. That's why you test things out, right? $60. I think that's it. She won't cut on. So, looks like a dud now, right? I uh, learned something about my rifle with this Picazine rail and learn something about this red dot that I guess it doesn't work and I'm glad I kept on trying to test it out. So I say maybe 30 rounds, I have to go back and count or you all can count. 25 rounds from the actual magazine, all of it wasn't on camera. Maybe 25, 30 rounds from the drum. Um, Look at my other math. Yeah, and then she fails. So whatever that is, whatever the math is, 50 to 70 rounds, she fails. You need to make it 100 rounds before she stopped working. But that's been dropping it twice, shooting these rounds, zeroing in. Um, I had a little bit of water running from the ground, and it's done. That's crazy. But it's only 60 bucks. Man, a little disappointed. But uh, I guess I'll continue to figure out what I'm going to do with this rifle. At least I'm happy that it still works, you know, with the polymer issue that I've spoken on. So um, what can you do? On, until the next one, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> All right, so now let's take a look at what's in the box. So here's how it comes in the mail. Got a little bag in the box. Let's open up and see how she looks. Go ahead and cut it already. There's the back of the packaging. Since 19 of 94, they define and build laser sighting category, blah, 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 blah. So this is a CTS-25, so we'll go ahead and read the, the features of it. 4.0 MOA, blah, blah, blah. You all can read. I'm not going to insult you. There's a picture of it. Little barcode. It's on the side. It has that website down on the bottom. This side. Same as this one. And here's the front. What you notice on the box, what you don't notice, is there no, there's no serial number on the box. And um, I've also noticed that there's no serial number on the actual red dot. But let's go ahead and open it up. Oops, it's windy. There she is. Nothing else in the box. You see the actual red dot itself. And the quick start guide. And you see that it comes with a little cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth. Crimson tray sticker. Telling you what to do to uh, tell you to move the battery prior to the uh, battery tab prior to use. A little wrench here to put it on your rifle and you see it's small man, just two pages there it is so it's telling you a quick start the key features and talks about its lifetime warranty that i noticed <laughs> so uh, talk about battery warnings blah, blah blah go to the website and it's just straight as that what i noticed when looking at the manual as well as like i said the box there's no serial number for it didn't notice one on the uh actual red dot as well so that's pretty interesting but um how in the world do you want me to put a serial number on uh, any kind of registration when your item doesn't have it? But I guess some items they sell have serial numbers, so eh, neither here nor there. Take the rubberized covers off, and now you're looking at the side that's, I guess, facing the barrel. And this will be the side you'll we'll be looking into. Try to line it up. Oh, if I would have followed instructions to take the the tab away from the battery, then um, it would have cut on. All right, so let's take the battery out, take this tab off. All right, tab is off the battery. Reinsert battery, put the cap back on. All right, I think it's nice and snug now. Now let's try to cut her on. Let's see what she does. Oh, there she is.
So, um, look. All right, believe it or not, I just put it to my eye. The actual red eye is a lot smaller, which is better, but a lot smaller looking at it with the naked eye. So, you see that's pretty round. Actually, it looks pretty clear looking at it through camera. Um, and it is pretty bright on the port, so that's good that the brightness is there. Let me see if it. There it is. I'm cutting up the brightness. So, yes, it does get bright. You can still see it there on my chair. I bring it to my eye and I'm pointing it out in my backyard. Oh, man, I can see it clear as day. But that's good. That to see it well, even right out of the box. Break it down, cut it off. You have the turrets up top. Um, plus and minus signs for brighter or darker CT for that Crips and Trace logo. I've taken this off for, and there's, like I said, there's nothing on there, no writings. It's good. Good enough, right? All right. That's what you see in the box. All right, last part of the video. This is my fourth time re-recording this thing because it keeps going in slow motion. But as you can see, I'm in different attire. Clearly, I'm not at the range anymore. It's been over two weeks, I think exactly 15 days since I was out there shooting and had that failure. What have I been waiting for? I've been waiting for this, which is a replacement red dot for the one that we had failed. How did I get this? What I did was went in the box, some old box, <clears throat> Found the owner's manual, read in there, and there's a lifetime warranty for the item as well as uh, a battery replacement. How do you get that? What do you do is go online, go to the website, follow the links, and you register your item. They'll see some emails about the registration, and then you file a claim, which includes you telling them what's happening with it, uh, sending them pictures, and then shout out to the folks at Crimson Trace and their uh, technical support team because they kept good dialogue with me in terms of email. So it was really good there. They're, you could tell their customer service is on a, another level. I haven't really had that much luck with some other companies, but shout out to them for that. So it took a, maybe a week or so for me to get it. It's been sitting here on my table for a while. Haven't had a chance to put it on the rifle yet and try it out, but obviously I will, but I'm just excited that I got a new one. I'm hoping that we don't have the same problem like we had with the other one, but at least I have a new one. I'm going to test it out. And I'll probably do another video, an update video for the new Red Dot eventually. So y'all stay tuned for that. What they requested from me is that I mail in the broken one back to them, obviously. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm really excited to try it out again. Um, so there it is. Um, also really excited to try to look into more of their items and see what else they have to offer in terms of uh, other types of accessories for my weapons, uh, especially if this one can hold up. Maybe I had a, a dud. Maybe my dropping it did something, but obviously I want it to work no matter if I drop my rifle or, or if I go through 70 or 700 shots, right? So there we go. Got my new red dot. Really excited. It may not look like it because I've had it for a while now. The first day I got it, I was like, oh, it worked. I got it. They actually follow through. So I'm excited for that. So we'll see. Stay tuned for the next video in reference to the red dot. It'll be coming soon. I don't know when, but it'll be coming soon. So y'all have a beautiful day and a beautiful week. Take it easy.